casino? No, I was uh, moving like a block of wood. I'm sorry. Singing like a bird. Really? I didn't tell you what kind of bird. Oh. Anyone seen Tracy? Do you mind if I talk? Do you? Do you mind if I speak? Yeah. Do you mind if I speak? Do you mind if I speak? You know, I'd like to be frank. Your cooking is wretched in this. This coffee is rank. Perfect. This coffee. No, no, no. This coffee is rank. Who cares? It rhymes. Yeah. Watch him. Do not let him move out of the house. We may have lost her. I, I say may have lost her. We have lost her. Underpants? Stockings. You said underpants. I said stockings. You wouldn't be forgetting about those racketeering charges in Memphis now, would you, mister? <laughs> I was in Yellow Springs once, Ohio. Oh? Sitting across the table from a guy kind of like you. A little diddler. And it didn't take much. Two hands, short move. Both his eyeballs were hanging out of his sockets. Well, what are you trying to say? Check the statute of limitations. As of tomorrow, I'm off the hook. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe your boss would like to know tonight. You see, this is how it works. You put your thumbs here, then you pop the eyes like you're opening a can of beer. I see your eyes swinging on your cheeks. All you see is your boots. Just a check, please. normal bunch of creeps and oh we had a special party it was um a stag for a guy named smith and then uh the dead guy who ordered for one double bacon double cheese double mayo it's not very healthy better than a bullet does this time code here indicate the time he paid no 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 that's the time i rang it in the guy died before he paid me which is typical so now i'm out 899 he didn't have any loose bills on him did he uh no but i'd be happy to take care of that hmm. there you are Oh, is this Canadian? Yes, it is. Better make it a hundred. Right? <laughs> you were writing a song? The prime suspect in the shooting of a police officer eluded surveillance because you were writing a song? We'll revisit this momentarily. Do we have anything that places Carver at the scene of the crime? Is there any evidence that anybody was at the scene of the crime? There were 23 other men at the club, sir. Unfortunately, their attention was largely diverted by a number of women who were performing what I'm told is a form of modern dance. Uh, the waitress uh, figured that the um, uh, dead guy uh, was waiting for someone. Mm, that would be Carver Dunn, who miraculously slipped through a usually vice-like police dragnet and managed to get to the club at 3.35. Sir, according to the reports, everybody who knew the deceased had opportunity. Including Tracy Jenkins. Who also miraculously slipped through our usually vice-like police dragnet. Uh, yes, sir. We had, or rather, I had become momentarily blinded by the bright lights of the music business. Is that so? Yes, sir. And you? You know my eyes, sir. But uh, we're working on another angle. Oh, good, 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 good. That's encouraging. And how about you guys? You got anything? 
Actually, uh, we're, we're pretty close. Yes, sir. Um, there's a house we call love built next door to hate, and both them got lawns with a white picket gate. Their taxes don't differ, and their water's the same. <clears throat> well, one, one more line. We got that course. Right. Oh, you meant in terms of police work. I see. Oh, <clears throat> okay, Jeff. Uh, Yo, Ray. This guy, Mr. Brown Smith Jones, dropped this off for you. Thank you kindly. <laughs> what losers? The stag party really sucks. Here it is. Top of the frame. He was expecting someone. Mm. A couple more seconds, we would have had it. We may still have it. There's your man. Pick him up. Now, sweetheart, I want you to get some sleep. First thing in the morning, we'll try and patch things up with Dwight. The man loves you in his own way, and as crazy as he makes me, he did write the tune. He's always been part of the team. Well, George, what, what about Earl? Wasn't he part of the team? Yes, darling, he was. And what happened to him is a sad, sad thing. And if I sound casual about it, believe me, I don't feel casual. And that's why you running off like you did today scares me half to death. I just feel like I'm living in a fishbowl and it's driving me crazy. I know, I know, I know. And that's why I am going to look at all the bookings. I'm going to find you some breathing room. In the meantime, you stay here. Stay safe. Stay put. Let the Mountie look after you. I'll call you first thing in the morning. Get some sleep now.